Hello everyone and welcome back to Keepsakes by Patty Cakes and a very warm welcome to all my new subscribers. I thank you so much in joining me in my journey. journey. <laughs> um, I also want to give huge hugs and love to those who have commented. Uh, Deborah Day, Sandy Garrett, Heather Doodlebug, Beverly Nielsen, Dr. Amy Anna, and Beverly Potter. I thank you all so much for commenting, and that helps my channel so much. And also keep up those likes, because those also help me as well. Now, I meant to have a video out today, but unfortunately, this is Friday, but unfortunately, my new phone came yesterday, and it was late. Uh, towards the evening when it came and I believe that I'm very technical or technically challenged um, because it did take me a good while and had to figure out my phone and uh, so therefore I'm doing the video today um, and as promised I'm going to show you my um, glue toppers that I made that will fit the thin nozzle of the art glitter glue, this kind of tip. And uh, let me go ahead and grab them. Now, the ones that I'm showing here are ones that I will be selling for $10 because they don't have uh, the gemstone beads that the other ones have. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, these are not going to be in my Etsy, I can't talk today, my Etsy shop um, until I get my packaging, which won't be until um, second, third, fourth, around the fifth or the sixth because I've ordered packaging materials and I really don't want to send them out um, and for them to get damaged in the mail. If there are any that you like um, before I post them on Etsy, you can email me at the address below in the description box. If you click on the gray V below the video on the phone, I know, that it'll bring down the description box and um, that's where it will have my email to send me and for you to tell me um, which one you would like ahead of time and then I won't post it on Etsy. Now if I get a request for more than one, whoever's first will get it because I'm not making any more. Um, this was just because I wanted to make a couple for myself. Um, and of course they do take time and I want to focus more on making journals and ephemera. So I'll go through each one with you and show them to you. I'll just sit down here for a minute. Okay, now this one here, it has an orange glass bead and it has various crystals and um, glass pearls on them and then it has um, a little charm I can't think of what this flower is called it's, it's gone out of my head but as you can see there's that one then we have this pink one with the pink glass ball on top and various um, crystals and crackled glass beads that is like a pink and a clear with little jingle bells on the end. And these are all stainless steel, just so you know. And I believe they're all two and a half inches. Two inches, I mean, not two and a half, two inches. Whoops. So sorry. And it's got a green glass bead and I tried to dye the top with my alcohol inks to this bronze color and it didn't stay. 
So if that bothers you, don't purchase the bronze ones, okay? So this is the seashell one, and this bead here is actually made from shells. And there's a little seashell on that one, another shell with some glass crackle beads, and a little um, plastic fish. And then at the top of that one, there is also another charm of some seashells. The next one is lemon themed and it is a yellow and clear glass bead with a crystal on the top. And then we have some other various glass beads and uh, glass leaves here. And then this lemon slice is made from polymer clay and there's another crystal bead at the bottom. Okay, now this one, I can't remember the stone. I know it is um, a semi-precious stone, but I put it in with this because uh, I couldn't remember. I didn't have it marked. So on this one, we just have various crystals again with some spacer beads and some more glass round beads and uh, a leaf that is kind of multicolored on there and I also wanted to mention on most of these I think except for two I have put earring backs on them and what this does is when you put it down over the glue this was my idea anyway that it would seal it better than just having it sit on top however I noticed on a couple of them of my own that they have come off if they come off it's no big deal you could either glue it back on or just leave it off. But I just wanted you to know that as well before you purchase them. Then we have a red glass bead here with a red crystal on top, a little ladybug, and some various um, crystal and glass red crackle beads on the bottom. This one is a green glass bead with green glass pearls and green crystals and green crackle beads with a multicolored leaf on that as well. It's like AB, if you know what AB is. Okay, now this one doesn't have the um, earring end on it, and it is a black glass bead with crystals and black and clear crackle beads. And then we have an AB bead here and a black glass bead and a sun. This one also doesn't have the earring back and has a AB blue crystal bead as well as crystal and round glass beads here and a little charm that has a sewing machine on it that says Zinger. We have another glass bead here. This, these are lamp work glass beads, the, the yellow one in this one. And it's kind of a flat oval shape with um, some blue crystal beads on it and a, a pink, uh, this is a semi-precious bead, rose quartz. And um, I guess that would be the moon on this one. We have orange on this one, orange glass bead with various orange and crystal beads on it with three different little scissors. And here we have a green glass bead with some green crystals, uh, a light green um, pearls, and these uh, I think these are called lamp work. Gosh, I can't think of it. And a real seashell. And whoops, at the bottom it has never give up. And then last but not least in this batch, we have a very pretty purple like crackle bead with some glass beads and um, glass pearl beads. And we have two tiny chips of amethyst on this one 
with a rose charm. Okay, now that's what it for the $10 ones. Now before I move on, I also want to let you know, if they do get a little bit bent in the mail, just take your finger a couple times and go across it and it'll straighten it out. And if by chance, hmm, not sure why this one's on there, that's an accident. Um, if they come apart, you just reclose the little loops on them because some of them, this is for an example, okay? If you have it on top of your bottle, you do not want to pull by the chains. You want to grab onto the bead and pull it off. Otherwise, it may loosen um, the top here and they can come off. And if you've had one before, you may already know that. Another thing that I like on mine, which I'll just show you, I cut mine off shorter. And you can see the difference here. It's a lot short. Well, maybe like a quarter of an inch shorter. And it makes it a lot easier to put into my bottle, I, I think. But that's just my preference. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the others. Please excuse my voice going away just now. I um, don't have a mic anymore. I'm using my mic that's built on into my phone. So we'll go ahead and start with, I should have said the numbers on those, um, but I'll know if you tell me the color and what's on it if you uh, want me to give it to you ahead of time or order ahead of time instead of Etsy. So I'm going to start with number one here. And this is a Jersey style agate with a Swarovski crystal. And we also have um, lapis lazuli beads. These small ones right here and these ones here. And these are also Swarovski. And then we have freshwater pearl rice beads on here in various sizes and we have the lapis lazuli here again and this is a hand 12 millimeter hand carved shell flower bead that says it for a charm and moving on to number two we have an iced mocha agate that's on the top and then for the beads we have a black crystal bead here and then we have tiger's eye beads on here, which are these little ones plus the big ones on each of them. And these ones I got from Eureka Beads and it didn't say what kind they were, so I'm not really sure. Now, this is uh, the molecular um, symbol for coffee and a coffee bean hanging off of that. And then we have a porcelain coffee cup and then we have this little charm here and this part spins around and it kind of looks like a Starbucks cup of coffee and it has coffee here with little stars on that charm. Now these ones will be $15. Okay, for number three, we have a green uh, 10 millimeter fancy Jasper on here and a crystal bead on top. And then we have some round glass beads and Swarovski crystals and fancy Jasper beads down here that are smaller. And a pair of the vintage looking scissors that has the bird on it. And so that's the charm on that one. Number four is also a fancy Jasper bead and it has a fancy top on there. And then we have some crystal beads here, some Swarovski um, crystal uh, bicones. And then these beads, I don't know if you can see them in the video, but um, they are gold, called goldstone beads and they have a sparkle in them and I don't know if the camera will pick that up 
And then we have some Celtic charms, three different Celtic charms on there, or Celtic. I'm not sure how people pronounce it. Number five is a 10 millimeter rose quartz on top with a crystal bead. And then we have some glass white pearls and also some pink, they're Swarovski crystal beads. And then we also have um, smaller rose quartz beads. And then this one is sort of sewing themed, piece of glue, a tape measure, and just a sewing machine, and an iron. Okay, number six is a 12 millimeter lamp work um, cut glass handmade bead and it's called Violet Petals, and it is like uh, purple swirls in it with gold underneath. It's like a gold copper color. And then on the parts that hang down, we have um, little two millimeter fire polished uh, beads, and then we have um, um, Swarovski crystal and then another fire polished bead in the bronze this one's purple and then these beads are um, uh, oh boy what is it called they're uh, okay I got it eight millimeter mountain jade dolomite beads and they're like purple with like gold on it it's got like a gold color on top and then we have three keys for the charms and a little connector there it's hard keeping this straight <laughs> okay for number seven we have a 10 millimeter blue gold stone on top this time and I don't know if you can see it, but there is like a sparkle in it, and this is just glue. I'll make sure that's off of there. Some dry glue. And then for the dangle part of it, we have smaller ones of the same bead here and here. And then we have some Swarovski crystals. And then on the bottom of these two are... Um, uh, little glass stars and then on this one we have a Swarovski butterfly crystal and a fairy okay number eight we have a large 13 and a half millimeter disco faceted bead which is like a blue green and then on the dangle part of it, we have um, six millimeter uh, frosted quartz. That's these ones here. And then we have uh, some other crystals on there. And we have, these are um, uh, freshwater pearl beads as well. And then these are just glass beads. I think they're just an agate. And this is a seafaring one with a um, captain's wheel kind of on it. So it'd be good for like a ocean journal or something like that. Or maybe, uh, what do you call it? Uh, mermaid journal. Okay. Um, then for number nine, we have a Swarovski, um, brown pearl on top, and then on the dangles, we have, um, let me think, two tiger's eye, two beads, um, two bronze, look, um, trees, and these oval beads. 
and then we have the round tiger's eye beads here and then on this one we have a tiny round tiger's eye and a larger one and then this one again it looks like a moonstone to me but I am still not positive I, that was on the other one then we have the little connector here and a bronze tree of life on the bottom and on the final one we have another Swarovski pearl bead and we have a little gear on top and a crystal bead and then on these ones we have again the tiger's eye beads and the larger tiger's eye beads and these gears and these are little uh, bronze and copper spacer beads so that's all I have to show you and uh, like I said if you'd like to request one before I post them on Etsy next week which will probably be on Friday the 2nd um, just send me an email and let me know and I'll let you know if it's available or not and um, I will see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye